So uh, in this uh, video, we'll start with unit two. So let me select. unit 2 which essentially deals with the second OSI layer called data link layer. DLL. We write in short DLL. Now this data link layer has actually two parts. So there are two parts in this unit. There are two parts. Number one is called LLC. LLC. It stands for Logical Link Control. The other sub layer of DLL is basically MAC sub layer. which stands for media or medium access control medium access control so in the osi reference model if you see the seven layers bottom most i have physical layer and uh, above that we write data link layer and above to data link layer is network layer Okay, so as per the convention, as per the norm, the data link layer becomes service provider to network layer. It is service provider. And we have top other layers, so I don't have to mention about that. And it is a service user of physical layer. Service user. In our earlier video, we have already seen uh, the issues of physical layer. Physical layer deals with the transmission of bits we have seen. So at the physical layer, we transmit the data in the form of bits <coughs> over communication channel. <coughs> so nothing much uh, other than that. So we decide about the voltages, we decide about the uh, what we call uh, modulation techniques or we decide about uh, the encoding techniques and then management of media, etc. Now over and above that, so taking that physical layer providing the bits transmission, taking that as a service data link layer in the form of LLC and MAC carries out different functions and that we are going to learn in this particular uh, chapter or in this particular video. Like for example, I will enumerate what are the important functions of LLC and MAC. So logical link control important functions include framing. What is framing we will understand, we will we'll, we'll see in detail, I am just enumerating that flow control what is flow control also we will define and then error control error control these are the three important functions carried out by logical link control or generally we say data link layer and for medium access control basically uh, this layer is responsible for what we call uh, the media management medium access Meaning, for example, if I have a communication medium connecting with different machines, then who should access it? Earlier video I told you, if there are two uh, stations, two hosts, host 1 and host 2, if they want to communicate, how are we going to? There is a possibility of collisions arising here. Collision management has to be done here. Collision management. So who should access and then how the collisions are to be resolved? are the primary issues to be dealt with uh, data link layer okay and uh, if you talk about the hardware the hardware that is available at the data link layer the hardware which is available at the data link layer if you talk about it uh, then we have uh, the network interface card which is generally ethernet ethernet card and uh, we may have wi-fi card wireless card on the desktop then we may have some switches generally these are layer 2 because data link layer is layer 2 so they are called layer 2 switches so switches management right 
uh, every network interface card for the purpose of identification every network interface card will have its own address which is called MAC address every network interface card which is connected to the system will have been associated with MAC address for the purpose of distinction or for the purpose of identifying a network connection this MAC address is a unique globally unique across the world it is unique for every machine every network interface card unique 12 digit 12 digit alpha numeric address and you can see this in the wireshark later uh, in our live class when we take i will demonstrate to you how i will show you for uh, net for uh, our network interface card what is the mac address so 12 digit alpha numeric 12 digit means uh, it is alphabet or numeric and if you convert that into uh, binary where every digit is encoded with 4 bits so 12 into 4 48 bits so either you should say 48 binary bits address or 12 digit al alpha numeric so every network interface card you should remember will be associated with this unique mac address and by means of this mac address only the host which are present on the host which are present uh, on the network will be able to distinguish whether the packet is meant for it or not so by means of this mac address only we try to identify who is the source and who is the destination so the unit of transfer next the unit of transfer unit of data transfer unit of data transfer at data link layer at data link layer is known as frame so what is the frame format and different protocols will have different frame formats what exactly frame contain etc so logic is from network layer from network layer uh, we we get the payload we get the packet then the data link layer will take this packet and convert this into frame so this frame will have this this packet will be encapsulated here and then we add some header and then we add some checksum we'll talk about this in detail later point of time i'm just giving an overview so at network layer the payload the data unit is called packet and at the data link layer it is called frame frame is encapsulation of the packet along with header and checksum header will generally contain that mac address of source and destination checksum is for error control checksum is for error control what is error control during the transit it may happen that the data may get corrupted due to the interference with noise signals so that we try to detect and correct so error control essentially involved two steps error control essentially involved two steps one is <coughs> error detection error detection and the other is error correction so we have uh, algorithms for error detection and error correction we are going to deal that separately in different topics in different videos i'm going to discuss about the problems here error detection error correction and you will also have to basically implement them as your lab assignment so this is uh, uh, about the uh, data link layer issues that we are going to so what are the primary issues the primary issues are nothing but the medium access control to decide who should access the media in case of collision how are we going to manage the collision and then flow control flow, what is flow control i will tell error detection i have already told framing also i have told so how to what is framing i will try to uh, correlate here like uh, uh, the sending machine suppose let, let us say this is the host sender and the receiver receiver so sender will send that uh, data in the form of bits mean the physical layer so physical layer of the sender will send the data in the form of bits and then the receiver physical layer will take the bits and uh, hand it over to the data link layer the data link layer will while taking the bits it will formulate what are called frames it will separate out the chunk of binary bits the chunk of binary bits are divided into what are unique, what are called frames and from frames it will remove the header and trailer and will take the packet and forward this packet to the top layer that is network layer that's how the communication takes place so here sending data link layer will take the frame 
and pass on the frame to physical layer. Physical layer will transmit the frame in the form of bits. The bits will come to the destination physical layer. Physical layer will hand over the bits to the data link layer at the receiver side. Then the receiver data link layer entity will uh, take, will formulate them into frames and uh, from the frames it will take out the packet and hand over to network layer. And while it takes out the packet, it will also perform error correction or error detection and correction. So that is the meaning. So important functions again I tell, the important functions of data link layer are framing, how to frame the packets, okay. Framing is a very important issue. Second issue is error control to find out whether the frames got into trouble, frame got into error, error control dealing with detection, error detection and correction both, error detection and correction and next is flow control. Flow control. Flow, what is flow control? Flow control is nothing but the problem of fast sender and slow receiver. Every machine, every every machine depending on the network interface card and depending on the cable that it access will have its own speed of acceptance and speed of sending the data. So suppose for example if this sender is sending the data at 100 Mbps but this receiver has the capacity to receive the data only at 10 Mbps. So what will happen, suppose if this sender spam the data at this rate, this re receiver cannot accept it, cannot uh, accumulate the data at this rate. So this is the problem dealing with the synchronization problem dealing with fast sender and slow receiver. So in, 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 in networks it is quite possible different machines may have different speeds of transfer. So flow control is going to take up the issue of solving the problem of fast sender and slow receiver. When a particular machine cannot accept the data at the rate at which the sender can pump the data then we need to have some mechanisms for dealing with because if it sends in one second 100 megabits of information and one second it can accept only 10 megabits. So what are we going to do with the remaining 90 megabits? So that is the issue here. So we have we have protocols, we have algorithm for dealing with that. So that is called uh, the uh, flow control problem. So fast sender and slow receiver. So these are the uh, issues. So, so what is a switch? Switches are used for enhancing or connecting of the uh, different networks or different hosts. So switch will also play the role of suppose this host 1 can be connected by means of a switch to host 2 when the distance between them is long. So this will be not only responsible for converting the packets, transforming the packets but also will will act like a repeater as such. A repeater is the one which, which is going to enhance the uh, weakening signals. It will amplify, it will boost up the signal strength and forward the data further onto the outgoing communication line. So these are the uh, important issues of the data link layer. So what, what, what did you say? Again summarizing from beginning, <coughs> there are two sub layers in data link layer. One is called LLC and the other is called max sub layer, max sub layer, media access control layer. Logical link control deals with important functions like error control, framing and flow control and here it also deals with the issues of acknowledgement, acknowledgement management. We will talk about it in data link layer protocols. Media access control sub layer which lies below LLC. So if you look at the organization of data link layer, it is like this. Suppose if I say this data link layer, here I have LLC and here I have Mac like this. So media access control directly is responsible for managing the media. The major issue there is collision. What is collision? I have already explained to you earlier. If multiple station tries to access the data together at the same time, then the packets will get garbled onto the medium that is called collision. So entire collision management is done by media access control layer through its respective different protocols we are going to deal in the second part of unit 2. So first part deals with LLC, second part deals with MAC. So there are two parts in data link layer. All right. So data link layer is a service provider to network layer and service user of physical layer. Physical layer is only responsible for transmission of raw bits, binary bits using some um, encoding techniques that I described in my earlier lecture. And then I, uh, the hardware which is generally managed at the data link layer is network interface card, the Ethernet card which is has which will have a unique MAC address I said, which is a 48 bits address, 12 digit alpha. So either you should say 12 digit or you should say 48 bits not 48 digits, 48 bits address. And the other uh, part is you can have Wi-Fi in your desktop or you can even have switches connecting two or more hosts, right? So this is the devices which are managed by data link layer. And the unit of data transfer that takes place between two, the, the two data link layer entities at the sender and receiver is known as a frame. 
So what is the concept of frame? I have explained to you. So uh, framing essentially implies that when the receiving entity receives the frame, receives the binary bits by the physical layer, it will hand over the bits to the data link layer and then the data link layer will essentially divide them, demarcate them, demide, demarcate or divide the binary stream into uh, what are called units known as frames. So frame formats are there. The general format of the frame is like this. It will have a header and the checksum and the payload coming from the network layer becomes a part of it. So this whole entity now become what is known as frame. And error control generally what happened during the transmission there might error and we might encounter some errors happening due to noise interference of the cable. So we need to have mechanisms for dealing with error detection and error correction that is another important function of data link layer. So nutshell summarizingly I say the important functions of data link layer includes framing, error control, flow control plus acknowledgement management. What is acknowledgement management we will see later. If, again this is due to error control only right and uh, these functions uh, that flow control is not only a function at data link layer but later we will see it is also part of transport layer okay so what is flow control flow control is a problem arising due to fast sender and slow receiver so these are the issues that we are going to learn in this chapter so next video i will uh, start my discussion with the first important function called framing a very simple topic and important also we'll see that later